All right, everybody, it's your Ken Folks, be ready with another edition of Feed the Kosher. I'm here with uh, OG Williams and uh, Chris Rainwater with OG Ministries. Right. Fellas, it's, it's been a while since we've uh, had a chance to sit down and talk, man. Uh, OG, man, start with yourself, man. You spent a little bit of time uh, incarcerated. Oh, yeah, man. You know, from a reason to gang to the serving only God, man, you know, I... Uh, you know, I did, I'm a two-time loser, man. You know, I did a four on the six, man. Came back and did nine on, on the 15, you know. So, you know, I got 13 years, in, you know, in prison. And, you know, I am a living testimony, man. You know, and I tell people that because, you know, I want the guys that's in prison and the guys that hearing this, man, to know that, you know, there is hope, you know, for guys like us, you know. And his name is Jesus. Hey, man, that's amazing yeah. testimony, man. So you have... Part, part of your lifetime yeah. you know, taken away, yeah, man. Part of my life, you know, taken away at a young age, you know, and and those were the most valuable moments in my life. You yeah. know, those were the learning process mm. years, yes. you know, to where you learn job stability, where you learn how to be a man in the world. Yes. You know, another guy raised my kids, shouts out to Pastor Fletcher, you know, like I say, man, you know, he raised my kids, you know, and said my daughter, my daughter's a graduate from Spell, my son likes the university, you know, they both successful, you know. That's I'm, a blessing. I'm a gangster. See? Yeah. But God allowed my kids to be taken care of by another guy, which I, I shout out, like yeah. I said, to Pastor Fletcher, because I'm a real parent like this, yeah. you know, and I appreciate him doing that and breaking the cycle, you know, my son ain't never been to prison. Amen. You know? So the cycle ended at my son, you know. So I thank God for that, you know. I thank God for sending me this young man right here. You yes, know. man. You know, uh, I met you before Chris came into the picture, right, man. Right. I don't know. Did you have when? By the time I, by the time you were performing, uh, Poe Family, yeah. how long was that separation between him being incarcerated and to being back out in the world? When I first met y'all, man, I was kind of, I was kind of like almost like fresh out. Really. Okay. All I right. hadn't been out that long, so I hadn't been saved that long. I was still smoking weed and still yeah. gospel rapping. And, you know, I really didn't care if the gospel Christians liked me or not. You know, see, yeah. you know how I was, you know, but as time progressed, you know, you know, God, I, I, I knew that, you know, I was special. Yeah, in, yeah. In other words, you know, you know, I, I, I knew that and, and I, I just, I had to accept that, man, and say, you know what? I don't rap like everybody else. Yeah. My knowing is different. You know, I bring about a different, you know, aura. People accept me different. And so I said that I I, I realized that, man. And I, I just, you know, I got on my knees and asked God where he want me to go. And he yeah. took me a little further. He progressed me. I completely agree with you about your anointing being special and different. Right. Because even I consider myself being able to go everywhere. But I don't think I can go everywhere in a Christian uh, world. Right. I think that you could go places that a lot of us can't go. Right. Not only, not because of your age, because of your maturity. maturity you right. know what I'm saying? The it, maturity. That's what you look for in, you know, in the in the church. You know, that's what you look for in the church. You know, you look for the elders. You know, we go to the elders for for for, for advice in church, and you know, and that's what I feel like, man. In, in hip hop, man, I feel like I'm a I'm, I'm an elder in this, man. You know, and I'm blessed to. You know that God gave me this type of longevity. You know, in it. yeah, you know, and I really appreciate it. I got you. That's good, man. Because like when we talk about how you could go places, man. Because I've gone into churches that was not ready for rap, right? Not even Christian rap, right? But I feel like because the anointing that you, because anointing breaks stuff, right? So even right. religious folks can have a yoke that need to be broken, right? Whereas I'm not super young, but a few years ago I was younger, and I go into right. a place. Dressed the way I'm dressed, and they just, they just, not, they're not gonna receive me regardless. But when I first met you and I saw you minister, you had this anointing like, okay, he could go anywhere, like, and be accepted. And that, he could go with young folk, you know, he could go with older people, he could go with people that don't like rap, you know, you know seriously. And I, I agree. I agree. And we, we hear that all the time. Okay. You know, he, he's, a, <laughs> he's a living testimony. You know, he with me all the time. Everybody yeah. know. But we hear that all the time. People okay. tell us, hey, man. We didn't even like Christian rap See? until we heard you. <laughs> so it'd be different. You know, we hear that all the time, and that's what made us realize that, hey, Chris, I think we own some, man. Seriously, I had to go in there, and I had to go into a place and, and gaze over the audience and be like, okay, I can't do 90% of my songs in here. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> I got a, I got a, I got three slow songs that that'll be received in here, and I ain't rehearsed them. Yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah. We understand yeah. the truth. Fully. You know. And so we go in those places, and you know, me and Chris, we never feel uncomfortable. Sometimes we say it to yeah. each other, like, man, this is an older crowd right yeah. now. Yeah. Everybody in here sixty, <laughs> but when we we like, man, they not gonna accept Chris. Blah, 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 blah. But once we get up there mm -hmm. and they hear the way we bring it, you yeah. know, with the singing mm -hmm. and stuff like that, they accept it, man. One lady was 88. She bought five CDs. <laughs> An 88 year old. 88 years old. She bought five CDs, man. Man, a second look. Yeah. Jay Z can't say that, man. You know what I'm saying? Who, who, some of the best. Yeah. Drake, they can't say that. They yeah. some of the best out there. Yeah. Not no 88 year old from the buy. You yeah, know what I'm saying? We did a predominantly older. That was like looked like maybe about fifty something, man. You know, and we was like, man, did they pick us to come to the right church? And we we <laughs> yeah. like that question ourselves, like, yeah, man, are we at the right church? Wow, and those are the type of church that God yeah. showed me most. Yeah, wow, those churches. He show up, man, and they, like I say, the lady, them, 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 like, all the people was buying. Four CD, five CD, three CD. They were buying them like bucks. Mm. They wasn't coming and getting one. And, and it was like amazing because when we go in these younger churches to where these parents always complaining about how bad their younger kids is because they always listening at the wrong type of music. Right. Those be the ones that support us the less. Yeah, man. It, 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 it's it's, it's you know? difficult, man. I, um, <clears throat> Even I've seen where some churches bring in secular rappers to talk to the kids, and it breaks my heart. Like, yeah. man, the DFW got 50 rappers, man. For real. 50 Christian rappers. I mean, probably more. That done been through a lot. That can really talk to them and, and stay on point. Well, influence. Well, you just can't go to their YouTube video, and the first video is going to be full of cussing. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. I, 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 I just say, Lord, help me not be religious, but... It, if it don't look right to me, it ain't gonna look right to a lot of uh, folks, man. It, it don't. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like backwards, you know. I'm like, you know, you'll go pay $20 for Lil Wayne yeah. to cuss you out and talk bad about <laughs> your tea, about your, you know, your sexual preferences and all yeah. the stuff that he like. Yeah. But you won't pay $5 to hear about Jesus. Yeah. You know, and, I'm and, saying, and, and, yeah. and, and, and it be different. Because nobody buys whack music, whether it's Christian, oh, secular. secular, no matter what. No matter is. what. But the thing is about this is that m most of us, yeah, you know, I can speak for you and Vafa. Yeah. Most of us make good music, yeah. You know, and it's yeah. still being rejected in the churches. Yeah, you it, know, it, it's still being rejected it, in the churches, it, and, and and they rather they rather grow. Lil Wayne that's going to, you know, high side with the Bugattis and all that on how he's spending your money than to support the church. Somebody that yeah. you know that I'm finna go in the neighborhood and help some people and bring, you know. Right. I, I'm not, I'm not I, buying no Bugatti with the money. They even make jokes about the Christian rap. There's a guy in my job that calls Christian rap crap. C-R-A-P. Yeah. C-R-A-P. Wow. Christian rap. Yeah. You know, they, they call it some crap. It, it, but we were talking earlier, some other artists were in here, and how they got saved, literally, because a Christian rapper went so hard and was unashamed. Yeah. Unashamed. Yeah. But before, if it wasn't unashamed, right. they wouldn't have it. Man, if, because a, you can't if a preacher go in my neighborhood, D, if a preacher go in my neighborhood right now, uh -huh. TDJ, yeah. he most likely going to get wrong. Wow. They already know who T.D. Jakes is. They ain't yeah. trying to hear nothing from T.D. Jakes because right. they're going to be like, you ain't never did nothing for us. Blah, blah. But yeah. if I go to that hood, yeah. it's going to be accepted different because they can identify mm -hmm. with me and yeah. say, you know, hey, man, God saved this dude. He like me. Yes. You know? And I was talking to my brother. I was like, man, if I went down to the hood in a Pinto and, and, and the dope man came in a Bentley, yeah. who do you think they going to follow but if I could come down there in that Bentley, just like that dope man, yeah. and show them that fallen God, you yeah. can have the same things. Yeah. It'll be a different man. I done seen, uh, yeah. okay, I used to, when I started, first started doing yeah. Christian rap, we actually rap yeah. with, he had a brand new Jeep, yeah. nice paint job, sitting on them 20s, 24s, 
Dudes would tell him, yeah, man, I paid attention to you because you had pulled up. You had the rims. It was shining, man. You, you yeah. know, you used to play ball for the school. And then you start talking about Jesus. They can identify to what they can see better than identify to what you say. Yeah. yeah. See, it's a trick to it. And I know the trick because I grew up out there. That's what's up. I know man. the trick, man. Yeah. And the trick is what they see. Me and Chris pull up in that neighborhood in front of them dope boys and that brand new Benz. We get out with them Air Force Ones yeah. on. Like yeah. that dope man with that with them chains on, with them crosses on it saying Jesus. Yeah. They gonna be like. You got my attention. Yeah. Hey man, what y'all do, man? We, we, we work for the Lord, man. What's <laughs> up? See? That would do it. Yeah. See, people, it's a, it's a psychological thing. It's a psychological game that 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 people aren't willing to sacrifice. Man. Yeah. Because they selfish and they want it all to themselves. TDJ got more than if you hear me, sir. You know I love you, but you got more than enough money to last you. You ain't open them. Yeah. You know, get get somebody some money that's gonna go off in there to them places that yeah. you're afraid to go off into, man. Because you know if you really about saving. Souls, all souls count. Not just Deion Sanders and them, cause they can tie it and offer real big in yeah. the church. They 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 ain't the only souls that that need to be saved. It's nut nut them and and Chuck yeah. the one them head busters down there that's robbing our babies and killing them people and stuff. Yeah. If they could see a difference in what God can yeah. offer, yeah, it would change the whole concept of them accepting Christ. Because they accepting Christ, they feel like they coming, leaving something and coming to nothing. Yeah, yeah, seriously, seriously. And it's really not like that. They, they don't see the benefit. They if, don't Jesus, see if Jesus say your life, why are you still here with me? They don't understand. You say your life, you, yeah. you pay just a picture yeah, too. Yeah, why you, you doing bad? This is yeah. the first thing you were saying. <laughs> you doing bad? You just went over there and got $50 from D-Ray. Right. Yeah. See? That's how I used to be. When I go to job, I knew all my little dope homeboys had money. But when yeah. I was doing bad, me and Chris know he was with me. Yeah. I be doing bad. I go out there and ask them for $40, $50. You yeah. know? But I try to use the scripture to make up for it. You know, yeah, the wealth yeah. of the wicked is stored up for, for the, the righteous. righteous. You know, I, 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 yeah. I, I exercise that scripture. I exercise it all the time. I said, you supposed to have money for yeah, me. You supposed to have money for me. <laughs> then, but, I, all the time. But it was, but it was hurting me. Okay. And I didn't know that. Right. Because they like you serving God and I'm serving the devil mm. on the cool. Yeah. But you gotta come to me for help. Mm. See what I'm saying? Yeah. See, it's a it's a psychological thing, man. And I wish I could change it. And people don't know we trying to get a hit record to say change the psychological part of it. Yeah, yeah. Cause we already live good. We yeah, been yeah. money. My, 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 everybody know me. Yeah. We've been living good all my life. Yeah. I've been living in the hood with dirt streets, eating crab legs. And we, I've been yeah. eating that way before I made it. Right. Everybody know OG family got money. My yeah. family is blessed. Wow. So I don't. I'm not doing it for the money. I've been had money all my life. I'm doing it for the voice. Yeah. I want to be able to go to the hood and, and right. the D-Ray, and me and you pull up. And they yeah. see us jerry down with our nice new balance of like you dress right now, yeah. looking nice. Yeah. Me. It, it's smelling good. It's, it's, it, yeah. Nobody want to see you looking raggedy no. and all that. You're not going to no. be impactful. You're man. not going to be impactful. Especially if they, if they think they're cleaner than you. For real. You know what I'm saying? Even if you can go down now dirty and telling everybody you got three, four birds. They still not gonna believe you. They're not, man. They're gonna be like, you got some birds and you're, you're birds. Got some. No, no. See, it's appearance, man. Yeah. But the dude really could have a right. club with all that. Right. The only time we're gonna believe you got people like that if, we, if you have a reputation for having paper. Yeah. And we know yeah. you like to just dress yeah, down. You just dress down. That's the only way, That's the only way you're gonna be. And see, it's like we have one level of influence when we go to places like Java. People always bring up God, a mm -hmm. blessed day. Mm -hmm. You know, they use those spiritual yeah. times. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. You know, good to see God blessing the family. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. that. Yeah. But when we can have some money or have that power, that next level of mm. influence yeah, on us man. to be able to say that, yeah, God, this is what God all did for me. Needs, yeah. to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, God can buy you a Bentley too. And God serving God. You can have a Bentley, a Ben. You can have everything that, that you got selling, selling dope. Yeah. Man. I had never been nowhere, never, till I started serving God. 
Now wow. I've been, now I've been, me and we, we, we on the plane all the time. Yeah, OG See? Ministry, y'all doing it's it. It's because I'm serving God. It's not because I'm selling dope. Hmm. When I was selling dope, I didn't go nowhere. I couldn't because I had to take care of my client. And yeah, you were the, the, and the leader of the gang. I had to make sure they was all right. I, I didn't hmm. have time to go. And, and so, in the in the sense of they, the trap, you was trapped. I was trapped. That's why they call it a trap because they really don't know. They don't know. They don't know what that really means. A trap, bro, because that's what it is. Yeah. Anything that's a trap is not good. It's not good. Now you want to hear something funny? Go ahead. What's crazy is you, God put me and this brother right here together. Yeah. We are totally different. <laughs> Hello. He grew up, you know what I'm saying, out there in the streets. Yeah. I grew up in the church. Wow. I grew up in the youth church, intercessory prayer. Yeah. You know, some of these things going to church all the time. Okay. No, no, keep out the talking. Okay. You good, man? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, yeah, we good. It's good, man. Yeah. I, I wanted to be authentic, man. So, you know. Yeah, that's right. That's all. That was my daughter called. Yeah, it's checking, it's checking on her dad. Yeah, we wanted <laughs> to be authentic, man. We wanted yeah, to be real. But, yeah, but, yeah. but it's like we night, we were night and day difference. Yeah. You know, I had some prison background. I had the church background. Like, yeah. I was shielded away from drugs. God didn't even allow me to see what yeah. weed even looked like to my 20s. He wow. went to PS State. I went to state P. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I tell people that. Hey, Chris got a high school diploma. I got a GED. Yeah. You know, hey, me and him are opposite. Wow. You know, he grew up with, with his parents. I grew up parentless. Yeah, I, I, my mama was. I didn't have a, I didn't uh-huh. have a mother or father. Yeah. I don't know if they was addicts or not, cause I never even saw them. I was with my granny. Yeah. My grandmother raised me. Yeah. My daddy was doing ninety nine on East Ham, Ooh. which was her son. You know, so she used to take me down to the prison to see my daddy. My daddy raised me from behind the prison walls and stuff, wow. telling me, when I get out, you better not get in no all that. That's how yeah. my daddy used to threaten me, and I was yeah. afraid because my daddy was a gangster behind me. I thought that was, you know, and I used to listen to him from inside the prison wow. hall, but I had no mother. My granny went to work from 10 o'clock to 6 o'clock. Between that time, I knew I could act a fool, and I knew where every gun was. Wow. And I was the only child, man, there. Mm. So I had to protect myself. I had no big brothers, no sisters, man. You wow. know what I'm saying? So I'm being not the only child and spoiled like that. People going to pick on you, man. But I used to go get them guns, and that's how I got my reputation, man. Yeah. You know, because, were you, uh, you know, were y'all churched at all? You know, my big mama tried. Okay. You know, like I say, when I was 10 years old, I knew every book of the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Okay. You know, so your foundation is Yeah, the foundation was, was there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But when I got, like I told you, in my productive years, mm-hmm. no one in my circle wanted to motivate that. Like my uncle told me, my best friend wanted to be a police and I wanted to be a fireman. Wow. And my uncle told me, you not going to be nothing with no siren on you. Because mm. they were selling dope and mm. drugs. They don't, they, they didn't, they didn't, you know, I knew, I knew what to do in prison when I was 15. And I wasn't even old enough to go to prison yet. Wow. My, See what I'm saying? My mom tells a story about my daddy. Yeah. She said his big brother really put him, he didn't want the life that he had. Yeah. You know, he was never involved in our life. Right. But my mama said he wanted to love her and be good to her. But her, they was into pimping. And so his mm-hmm. his big brother always, no, nah, don't fall in love, you know what I'm saying? Don't do that, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you should have checked her and all that. Mm-hmm. And so he, my daddy never, he wanted to be a father. Right. Because she would tell me his secrets, you know, that he would say, I ain't gonna never do that to my kids. Because he never knew his daddy. Right. Now, I never knew my daddy. And my daddy right. swore before he had kids, he would never do that. Right. And so I know that that influence, yeah. his big brother really, really did a number on him, man. So, you know. yeah, and that's true, man. And that's what my uncle, my uncle did a number on me like that, man. Yeah. There was no, he was the only male figure in my life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the only male figure that was in my life, I saw sell dope all the time. Yeah. Have money to shoot dice. And, you know, he always had some type of hustle yeah. going on. Not never nothing positive. Nothing legit. No, nothing legit. You yeah. know, leaving 
you know, when he leave, you know, we kind of like slept in the same room type yeah. stuff. When he leave, he leaving the doobies in the ashtray, yeah. which made me in turn start smoking weed. And I've been smoking weed since I was 10 years old. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And even through some of my saved life, I still was smoking weed. Because pe- pe- you can ask anybody, I don't have no habits as far as drinking and even in my dope man days, yeah. I wasn't off in the drugs. Yeah, yeah. I just like smoking weed. Yeah. And that was a habit that uh, that formulated since I was 10 years old, you know? Yeah. And, and it was hard to break. It really was. That was one of my biggest fights. I could, I stopped killing people that stopped selling dope and stopped doing stuff with the gang before I even stopped smoking weed. Smoking weed was the last thing that I stopped doing. Wow. So with that whole... Marijuana movement we have now, where so many states are legalizing marijuana for recreational use. Right. Uh, entrepreneurs are now getting rich. I'm pretty sure you know some people in prison for a long time for the same thing, selling marijuana. Yeah. And now it's become legal. Yeah. Is that type of some is that some type of legal action that they can take to to help them with this situation? You know, I I, I was looking off into that. Man. Yeah. Because, you know, I have one of those cases. Okay. And I was looking off into that, man. You know, that that, 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 that weed case caused me a lot, man. It suspended yeah. my license. It took a lot out of me. It took yeah. my money and stuff, man. You know, for, for and it wasn't even hardly nothing, man. It was like two bags that I was, I was a user. Yes. You know, and I got caught with two bags that I was about to use. One was used, yeah. you know, some of it. I you know, it. and man, they, they hit me hard for that, man. Suspended my license for years and gave me big fine. And, and now they get rich. And now rich. it's legal. And they, and they get rich, rich off of it, man. Because it never was a drug anyway, man. Nah. It's that the, is a medicine. Yeah. Man. You know, and it's, if you abuse anything, alcohol, alcohol can heal a wound. You can abuse water. Oh, yeah, you can abuse <laughs> bust your back. You yeah. know, anything not used right. Is not right. Can be harmful. Yeah, yeah, can be harmful. So, you know, I know a lot of people with mental problems, man, Ooh. and they smoke marijuana, and it helps them. Wow. So you see, you, you know, can, you personally know. Yes, man. Yeah. It's not nothing that they use it to get high. Yeah. It, it puts them in the space it where, them, where it people calms, can deal with it them. It calms you down. Yeah. You know, for real, man. You know, when I got out, my psychiatrist told me to smoke marijuana. I smoked marijuana the whole time I was on parole. Okay. Because I'm a physically aggressive, mentally ill offender. I was in the family program the whole time. Yeah. I just, I worked in uh, behavioral, ho- behavioral health hospital for two years, man. Yeah. Opened my eyes to a lot of things, mm-hmm. man. Uh, some things just need prayer. That's it. Uh, without getting spiritually deep, without scientists. Man, you need to put spirit on that. It, it, it's just simple. Ain't no medicine. Ain't That's no. It. Ain't no school. Ain't no books. Nothing. You just need to pray. Yeah. I've but, seen. But it, man. nobody sees anything about a person that can go to the gas station, go in there, get in two, three cases of beer, mm. fill up with gas at the same time, get drunk. Now you got plenty of gas to drive down the wrong side of the highway and kill somebody. Yeah. See, that's the that's statistically yeah. true. Ain't that the number one? That's the number one. Yeah. But show me in the Ooh. stats where a marijuana, the man on marijuana done jumped in the car and killed up a whole <laughs> family. See, you can't show me that. I don't See, think I've ever heard that. No, the only reason they messing with that is because they can't tax it. Right. As soon as they find out how to do it, yeah, it's going to be legal everywhere. It's going to be legal everywhere. And then people can get jobs. I don't know how you can get a job and be a drinker that, you know, the, you, you you can be a user of the number one killer mm-hmm. in the world. And get a job. And, and get a job and, and smoke a blunt. Well, at our job, we serve beer. When we, have, when we have, like, uh, you know, uh, yeah. appreciation day and stuff, yeah. two beer uh, limit. I mean, yeah. two beer, yeah, two beer limit. See? <laughs> hey, my girl work at Winco. She had to take a, li- a test the other day for her liquor license. Yeah. See? Yeah, they give you tests to send. You can, you can buy it at the grocery <laughs> store now. <laughs> So come on, man. Yeah, yeah. So stop all that, man. It's definitely, just the man. way this world. Is. I'm definitely not. An, uh, uh, I'm not anti marijuana. I'm not right. anti marijuana. Right. Uh, I don't use it because I you know I'm you know I work in corporate America, so right. you know right. but, uh, you know I have used it in the past, but I'm right. not. I, I don't have this banner 
and like, you know, hey, right. you shouldn't be doing that. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't I'm, say nothing about no marijuana smoking, yeah. man. If you yeah. shouldn't be doing nothing, then I think more, we, we, we have more to say about the people that's driving drunk. Yeah. Mothers against drunk drivers are in agreement with us as yeah. well. Yeah, ain't no mothers yeah. against weed. I mean, your friend will turn against you if you drunk, yes. right? And drive. Man, if you drunk right now, man, you are dangerous. Yes, you are, you're in a missile. You are dangerous. You driving you, a missile. You don't know nothing. Yeah. But yeah. I guarantee that one that go to that club and if all he did was smoke the blunt, I bet you that's the one that can get you home. Yeah, you can't. You, yeah, you got it. Yeah. So, marijuana, so uh, I mean, uh, alcohol is so lethal. So, somebody can't even drink when we go out. For real. <laughs> For real. Somebody got to be a designated driver, and I'm always him. Yeah. Because I don't drink. Yeah. So you, somebody, yeah. we're gonna have a good time. The pot, we, we, we're trying to be positive, but yeah. somebody, one of y'all can't partake. Can't partake. So that means something ain't right. Something ain't right. <laughs> so it got to be something if somebody got to sit out. You know. I'm sorry, I'm laughing, but that's true, man. That's the way it is. Man. Okay, man. Tell us about the music, man. Tell us what's going on with the, the music. I, I know you, you guys are. That's what artists are supposed to do. When you get a hit song, you're supposed to push it. That's and that's one thing you guys have been very consistent, taking right. a hit song and pushing it. And, and Talk people about fail that. to realize that Paul family hadn't even left Dallas. Wow. Paul family ain't even left nowhere yet. So, of course, we go, we, we, I, I applaud you. If you're a type of artist that can go out there, put out 15 albums and <laughs> still not have a hit, and then go waste your time. <laughs> That's me. You know, but I'm, yeah. true story, thank you, brother, told me. Oh, yeah, gee, true story, good Marry man. poor family. He told me to marry that song. Mm. So I married it. And, and you know what's crazy is when I, when I first yeah. heard him do the song, I was like, oh, this song is jamming and we was on the same, you know, show or whatever. Yeah. Was, it's myself. He was going to the Yeah. And uh, we kept running into each other. This is how we met. Maybe how many years ago? Man, about five or mm -hmm. six. Something like five, that. Five. Five years. More. In Fort Worth. And then we met up at a church again. And old Cliff, he said, man, you know that Jesus song we did. Said, let me get on that Jesus with you. Yeah. Uh, and, and people had been asking me, you know, get on this, get on this. But as soon as he asked, for some reason, I was, no problem. I emailed it to both. <laughs> and from then on, he said, man, why don't you come get on that pole family? That yeah. He got like on that. it. And then he we got put on a little twist to it. Chris put some church in that pole family, man. Yes. He brought it to life, man. And, man, I, 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 I say, man, you know, that song has won us so much. We just came back from Hollywood last wow. year. It has done so much for us, man. Wow. And the people might around this little circle that we've been in, mm -hmm. Yeah, they made me say, I'm tired of Poe family. We don't care. Because Poe, when we went to a different place, different city, when we went to Hollywood, it was brand new. <laughs> it blowed the doors off them. The people. judges were blown away. Man, they was hollering, so somebody better sign them. It was wow. blown away. Man, so I agree, because the first time I heard it at the Christian Lounge, yeah. it changed the whole atmosphere. Didn't it, man? It we changed did. the atmosphere. atmosphere. And in a humble way, we consider ourselves yeah. to be atmosphere changes. Wow. Wow. That's what wow. I say. Wow. You know, let's go, man. Mm -hmm. And that song has changed so many atmospheres. Then when Chris added what he added to it, it really made it be amazing, yeah. man. You know, and, and, and I was like, man, that is, you know... I'm not quitting that song. Even though we working on our new stuff, Chris yeah, working on okay, our good. new album. God did it, Chris. Chris working on the praise and worship part of it because we bringing, we bringing a new flavor. We not, we we not a rap group. We are we are considered an extreme praise and worship group. I like. That. I just rap. I like how you do that. That's that's what we are. We not a rap. We not a rap group, and we not a Christian. We are in the Christian hip hop category yeah. based on me rapping, but we're in a lot of other categories too because I have a great singer. Yeah. And yeah, you know what's, what's to come? A lot of people. Pause on that. Go ahead, man. Uh, 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 oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Tool is cold, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead. But a lot of people don't know the flexibility. Like, I rap, he sings. Right, and so yeah. we're gonna eventually one day switch. Yeah, it we're up, gonna flip you know? it yeah. on people, and they yeah, because you sang in Poe Family. Yeah, you know, when it was just you. You were saying, yeah, when I was by myself, yeah, uh -huh. I was doing it. But you know, now he brought a different flavor. You know, hey, hey, you did, Chris. You you added 
you yes, add it indeed. to it. Because a lot of times, a hit song, sometimes you add to it, it takes away. Right. You actually add it to it. Yeah, you you add it to it in, a way, that, in a way that it didn't take away. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, uh, a lot of times people do remix, and then a remix, oh, you should just left it. Left it like that. Left it like that. Remix, yeah. you know, you just made it long, and, and yeah. it ain't well, as good. We didn't know how it was going to go. I know we recorded in the studio, yeah. and we got done. He said, boy, you got your work cut out for you. <laughs> you yeah. got to remember all that. <laughs> well, it's really good to hear <laughs> that you have married your hit. A lot of us don't. That's the maturity in you. We don't have the patience. Cause right. I, I think me and uh, what's his name? Uh, what's big? He be Black Seed. The big tall dude. The big Black Seed. Big Tech. Oh, big, big I mean, Big Tech got a thousand songs. So I do. <laughs> Say Big Tech got about fifteen CD, ten CDs out. D Ray got, but D Ray, you got some jams though. Well, I appreciate but it. But you man. know what? You know what? You don't marry now. I should. I you just song. date him. I had a song called So I had a song called So Good 2012. Yeah. That's the song I should have married. Sure. Every, everybody said that. Yeah. She, you, they said re release it and marry. You got another song out there right now that that you should marry. I just can't remember it right now, but it's it's uh it's on you had I think you did a video in it like you in the jungle or like you in the woods or some. You you did something on there, man. You got a video to it because you was in the woods or some singing somewhere. I'm about to go back and look on my channel. Kyle G-Way? Because I shared it. Okay, G-Way. Yeah, you need to marry. Show me your mom my way. Yeah, so you yeah, got a song you that you can marry. Way. That song, yeah. it, it's my, my, my mom was a drug addict, I told you. Right. My grandma kicked us out the house. And uh, I was little, I didn't understand. Right. But I heard her say, I'm just trying to show you tough love. Because, you know, granny's a saint. Right. Uh, my sister helped me remember the story. She said, my sister needed something. And my mama was passed out of hunger and wouldn't wake up. And so we ended up trying to, you know, kids trying to wake their drunk mama up. She high and drunk and sister got scared because she wouldn't wake up. And so my mama, my grandma said, I can't do this no more. You got to get out. And kicked all of us out in the wintertime. And my, my mama, you know, all she was with the D-Boys, he came and picked us up. And that, that's where the song came from. Him telling her, show them on my way. I'll be right there. I'll be, I'll be getting to get y'all. And the whole song was about how he was a dope boy and gave her drugs, but we loved him not knowing that he was killing our mom. Right. The dynamics between the drug dealer, the right. kids, and the mother, and, yeah. the, and the grandmother. Yeah. That song, and you know, and people tell me, hey, bro, you be doing these songs, you don't push them. <laughs> yeah, you don't. You don't, bro. I, and that's something, you know, I'll be like, man, D Ray really got some, you know, he, my boy, you know, I've been messing with you for a little while. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You know, I know talent when I see it. But, you know, it's the push. It is. And it everybody is. just, man, they don't know, man, I got, man, I got, boy, we got so many songs that we can do. Yes. But we not rushing. Wow. I'm we, in a rush, man. We not rushing. What if, you know, like, Pope family, what if it's going on, stain something? If it's stain something, then we got the new album. To bring out. Right. And what if you would have stopped pushing it five years ago when I first met you? Man, I, it would have been over with. I wow. Have, I, and because you pushed it, yeah. that's uh, how you stayed. Yeah. That's how you got keep. Yeah. It's, all the work I, is about. We came up everything with coming full circle now. Yeah. The foundation is the hit. Yeah. The foundation is everything around Pope Fan. And when you release something else, it's already hot. <laughs> it's already Boom. hot, man. Boom. I understand. I felt it. People tell me lessons. All the, people can tell you, but when you're sitting in front of it right. and you've seen it five years ago when it first right. started, right. it's different. Like, okay, you still, you, we've been rocking Pope Family for five years. And ain't quit. And it's going to take you all the way to Cali and back. It's going to take you all the way here and back. They won the contest. They won us 10 times. won us first place. The only thing that I done did to Pope Family is me. That's it. Wow. That's all I did. My dude. daddy is I made seven it years old. He said, if that song don't do it, I don't know said, what we He do. said, listen, ain't no need of y'all playing with all the going in this <laughs> He said, if that don't do it, ain't now y'all gonna make that's it. That's the one that you so that's the He one. spoke a word. He said, if that he don't make it, what's the use of making more songs? He prophesied that <laughs> me and Chris, you we listen to that Mr. Ryan Water because he know music. I agree, man. And I his daddy told us, man, and he ain't lying. We are undefeated. Mm. Every contest we get in with this song, we win. The only one we lost is when I, I said something that I shouldn't have said. Okay. I said, the devil done got in the DJ because he was messing with our music. Oh, okay. <laughs> they were like, oh, you know better. 
You know better than that. We gonna deduct all these points from you, and we still won't sell them. Oh wow! <laughs> so we were so far in front first, that we still got sell them. You know, we had an option yeah. like for Inner Spirit Entertainment, yeah. uh, mm-hmm. Road to Hollywood. It's five cities involved: Dallas, L.A., Vegas, Detroit, and Atlanta. And when they came to Dallas, we was like, hey, "What we gonna do for the audition? Should we do Pope Family? Cause we know that'll get us through, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or should we do Jesus? So we did Jesus for the audition. Yeah. And then uh, we made it. You know what I'm saying? The, the next, the next time. So they thought we was going to doing Jesus in Hollywood. We switched the game up and stuck with Pope Family. My pop said, "If that don't do it, that don't, it, do it, it, it. Don't, so don't do it." So we'll stick with that word, man. Wow. And, 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 we met up with the other contestants in, in Hollywood from Atlanta, Detroit, you know, the city. Wow. And God be glory, we ended up doing Poe Family. We went last and we won first place. Just like that, man. We shed it down. You know, they was coming by, you know, hey, man, wow, we ain't never heard no, and, and no song. We, the rendition that y'all did of that, uh, man, that's Harvey Walkers and the cat. We ain't never, even when we sent it to Mr. Harvey Walkers to get the permission to do it. See, we got Love. permission. We, yeah. we got permission to do this the right way. You know, I did I did I inbox you that I just heard that song, the the real version. Uh uh-uh. uh. I, I I got excited. I didn't know. You didn't know that. I thought you made that up, right? No. But I'm I'm just going through YouTube. I yeah. come from Poe, you know, that quartet yeah, singing. Yeah. And I said, that boy a genius. That's what I said. I said, that boy a genius. That boy, you think he's sick. I went back, I went back by, see, because my age. See how my age helped me out? But that's I true. I went back way in the game on a 35-year-old song. But hip-hop, they said, if you ain't sampling, you ain't mm-hmm. really doing hip-hop. You ain't doing hip-hop. They said hip-hop in the, in the foundation is sampling. It's sampling. And when you did that, I said, well, OG, a genius. Well, yeah, I in that because that's how we want to do that. Like, that's the old song. Imagine if we could get an, uh, some type of gig to open up for them. And they hear that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, yeah, y'all shut it down. Yeah, and that's what we trying to do, man. Get into world, you know, maybe becoming an opening act for somebody. You know, to that's build that's up, passion, build, yeah. our, build ourself up, you know. And yeah. then go, go from there, man. Because this song, the dude... Who turned us on to Harvey Watkins? Yeah, he heard us over Big Bang Studio, and he said, "Man, this song can change our life." Whew. But you, Kurt Franklin, uh, before he blew up, the same songs for years. Yeah. Same songs for years. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I'm hard headed. One of the deacons in my church before I went to the army said, "You need to be doing these same songs." He would, cause I started writing all these different songs, yeah. but getting the words on stage, everything. He would say, "Y'all got three songs." He said, "Just work them for the until the until the, until the people come to sign." That's he it. told me that uh, I was in the army in two thousand one, so he told me that like in two thousand. Man, we know Jesus and Pro Family inside out. <laughs> we know that we know them songs backwards. Crazy is the crazy thing is mm-hmm. today's performance. Is we haven't performed in maybe almost three months or so ago. Three months. Had a little break, and we hadn't rehearsed. Yeah. So that was that was just that was out. being in our spirit. Yeah, that wasn't at that last event. I saw it had an event. Uh, There's a bunch of folks on there. Me? He was probably. I've there. been, I've been, I've been keeping it moving. Chris. Okay. Been building up the, the the video part of it, doing okay. the, doing the thing, making plugs, other, but you know it's coming together, man. You Amen. Know? You know, and we, you know, like I say, man, me and this cat, man, we together, man. We we Amen. here until this, we are here until it, it do something. I did do something that Chris want me. Then Chris gonna come out with his solo album, and then yeah. I'm gonna come out with a with a well, with a rap album. Listen, we, we'll never not be together. Man. There's a couple things we, we do have plans to do for the future, which is to build a platform platform for up and coming artists. Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To help develop them and put steer them in the right direction and, you know, let them be able to do some ministry, man, and, and minister to some people. Like you said, stop doing all the cussing and yeah. all yeah. the other stuff. Yeah, come on now. And the final thing that, that's our passion is we really want to do a book, you know, from some of the things that God's allowed us to experience. It'll be a New York best time seller. Man, we done been all over the world just tripping, man. I'm talking about, uh, we done been to places that we didn't even know existed, like Columbus, Texas. We like, yeah. Columbus. Yeah, I, I said the same thing you just know, now. Like, Columbus. Yeah, Columbus. We ain't never been. But me and this cat here, man, we just, we just, man, we vibe so good, man. We utilize the moments, man. We Come comedians, on, man. we jokesters, we both like yeah. the hoop. We, yeah, do, we like everything we do. We like doing. We yeah. both like to play basketball. We like 
Hey, in, God put us in the in the apostles, uh, the Acts of the apostles, they said we're not in twos. We gotta follow that word, the format of the word. They were not in twos. We need to be at least in two. You, you should be nowhere by yourself, rapping. You know what I'm saying? Especially yeah. doing ministry. So that's that's a testament how y'all typically is working because it's word in the music. Y'all stay together. It's accountability, and you just listening to the people who are wise, who spoke wisdom to you. Hey, marry your hit, man. Seriously, man. We, we got new, we, we just got new stuff, man, that we ain't, you can just feel that flavor right there, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Ain't no rush. Just that ain't no rush. You know, different. And when we come out, this is how we come out. Listen. <clears throat> when I was down and out with nowhere to go, God did it. Yes, he did. Okay, we're going to let y'all yeah. know. <laughs> See, we just let y'all know. We coming, we coming different, man. Even on my job, when things got hard, God did it. Yes, he did. Yeah. I got friends in the pen that did drugs to the end. But God did it. Yes, he did. <laughs> yes, man. We're looking forward to that. Yeah, man. man we going to come hard. We got to get out of here, man. We going to okay. give us a piece of man. It was nice, man. Yeah. Man, what's the name of your plug? Hey, this is uh, Feed the Culture, man. Feed the Culture, Feed man. The culture. We, 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 we appreciate Feeding the Culture for having yeah. us on there, man. We are only God, man. Yeah. I'm OG, man. This is my baby brother. Appreciate that support, y'all. Where can they find your music at, man? Only God, man. At, 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 the new site is Breaking the chain today, breaking the chain today dot com. All right, and so that's both of y'all music. Both our music gonna be there. You can go to Rainwater Entertainment, man. If you want websites, you want any filming or football yeah, game, I'm to the film family man. reunions, anything you want to do, man. We film, we do everything. Rainwater Entertainment, only God ministry, man. We serving God and we trying to serve the community at the same time. Amen. Well, we're going to go ahead and pray out. Father, I ask right now, not only that you continue to impact yes, Lord. OG Ministries, Lord God, Chris Rainwater, you continue to, to bless them, God, because they have listened to sound wisdom, sound advice, Lord God. They have taken advice given to them, given to them by elders, and they ran with it, Lord God. And that's what you want us to do. You said take that word and put it around us like a necklace, yes. God. And they have married your word. They have married sound advice and wisdom. And they have shown that it's to be successful, Lord God. So let that be the lesson to all the young people and myself, God. Listen to the elders. Listen to people who are professionals to teach you and guide the way. And we ask that Jesus that you bless it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Shout out to all the rappers all over, man, from Fort Worth to Dallas, man. It's all love with only God ministry, man. Anytime y'all having some, if y'all feel feel free to invite me and Chris out, man. You know, man, we are not, we are a loving ministry, man. And we not against nobody, man. You know, this is not a competition. We are only doing what God told us to do. Right? Amen. You know, and that's all we doing, man. And it's much love to everybody. God will bless one, man. We Amen. Out, man.